Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I just want to show you one of my favorite new recipes I have going on here. What we're going to cook today is a tandoori chicken. Here, three chicken breasts. So what I'm going to do now is cut the ch chicken breast into strips. That way um, it cooks evenly um, so you don't have to worry about some raw parts of the chicken. So I'm just going to cut, this, cut these into even strips. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just finishing cutting in this chicken. And let's put it in a different dish here. And always, always, uh, when you're handling raw meat, just always wash your hands because you don't want to contaminate anything else. Alright, so the rest part is pretty easy. So what you want to do is mix all these spices together into the yogurt. So we have two tablespoons of fenugreek, a tablespoon each of lemon pepper seasoning and tandoori, onions, and the good old garlic. I just mix this all up. All right, looks good to me. So now we are just going to combine our tandoori mixture here tandoori mixture here, here, <laughs> onto the chicken and just mix it all together very well so each piece of chicken is coated with this mixture. So here we go. Alright, that looks like it is done there. So now I have uh, a baking sheet with tin foil on top just so it protects your pan. And we'll just transfer everything over to the baking pan. Put everything in there and spread it out evenly. So once you've spread it, about, spread it out evenly, um, we're going to let it marinate. We're going to cover it up with some plastic wrap and let it marinate in the fridge for at least half an hour. Just so it, all the spices and seasonings really get in the chicken to have it very flavorful. So I'm going to let this sit and marinate in the fridge for at least half an hour and from then on I will let you know what to do afterwards. Now it's been about an hour since I put the tandoori chicken in the fridge but I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Now because the chicken strips are cut into smaller pieces the cooking time will be lessened so I estimate about 16 to 18 minutes. Now marinate it on the pan. Now you can also marinate, leave it in the bowl, let it marinate there or in a Ziploc bag, but for simplicity's sake, uh, to make it easier on myself, I just marinate it on the, plant, on the pan. So all I have to do is take out the plastic film and put it in the oven. Perfect. So we'll let it bake. And now the chicken has been cooking for about 16 to 17 minutes, but I'm just going to take it out of the oven now because I know it's going to cook for another minute. Once I take it out and let it sit, it smells awesome. Wow, it looks beautiful right there. I can smell the tandoori and the spices. So I recommend serving that with um, some grilled naan bread or some basmati rice. Now always cook your meals three times a day. Take your CLA, conjugate linoic acid, and also your triple strength fish fats, which is a great fat for you, for your body, because it's a healthy fat, it's not one of the saturated fats that we do not want. So both of these take with your meals three times a day. I'll see you next time.